What's going on? You should Pokemon Food AA here coming at you with my metronome battle for round two of Pimp Knight's tournament. So as you can see, I've got a different style going on here. Just going through my team quickly just so you can see that they're all quirky as requested, no abilities, and they all know metronome with unlimited PP. So I've got a pretty good lineup of Dragonite, Vesper Queen, only because it's a Vesper Queen and it's hilarious, Waylord, Snorlax, Vanalux, and of course Moltres. And the restrictions were no Ubers. And um, Moltres, last I checked, wasn't an Uber. So. And the other is Dragonite. And as it's metronome, anything can happen. So I'm battling in this tournament, Bone Demaster. So he has a Typhlosion, a Spirit Tomb, a Ditto, an Ursa Ring, a Fero, and a Snorlax. So this is a very, very interesting metronome battle. This is post-commentary, might I add. So this awkward light screen, yep. So here's Bone. Now what happens partway through this battle is he disconnects. And because we were communicating via Skype, I said, okay, I don't want to just take a free match win. So, at some point you'll see us, um, and we'll just freeze and return with, um, the video again. But that, that's to be expected because it, this went seamlessly. Well, that's what we expected. So, it was an error on his part, so we just resumed with Pokemon at full health, except the Pokemon that had fainted at that point, which I'm not going to spoil. So, um, Mascot gets hit with a rock type attack. And then Snorlax actually just simple beam, which I thought was quite funny, because it actually gives Moltres an ability. And then we use Mist, which is hilarious. And that comes into consideration in a couple of seconds here. So his Typhlosion uses Metro, and he uses Water Pulse, and I'm like, what are you on? But it hits Mascot, because logic. My Moltres uses it, and uses Whirlpool, but luckily his Typhlosion missed. Mascot uses Whirlpool, and it poisons the Spirit Tomb. I was like, well, this is too good to be able to, already got Toxic Spikes up. Spirit Tomb then uses Air Slash. And then Snorlax uses Memento on Mascot, but the Mist protects Mascot, and Snorlax kills itself. And then my Snorlax uses it, and uses Worry Seed, preventing his Spirit Tomb from falling asleep. Which is quite funny that in the battle with no abilities, two of our Pokemon obtain abilities. So he brings out his Fero, and then we're communicating, please stand by. And then it uses Pin Missile on my Phoenix, which doesn't do very much, even though there was a crit there. He uses Magnet Bomb on Moltres, which doesn't do much, luckily. And then I use Rock Polish, which is incredible, so I'm very happy that Phoenix is plus speed, plus mist, plus a few other nice things. And then the Spirit Team uses Rage, and then I use Acrobatics. What the fudge? How the hell does this all actually use Acrobatics? <laughs> um, so Phoenix and then everyone uses Acro- um, what is it? Metronome again, that's the one. And Steamroller, which I think was quite funny. Because the plus B would go fast. And it uses gravity, which I thought, oh, cool, this is awesome. Um, Rain Dance, which I think that Typhlosion just equally wants to be a water type. I use Rollout, which does considerable amount of damage, well, will do considerable amount of damage against it. The um, Spirit Tomb pulls off his facade and because of the poison, knocks out my Snorlax and then it knocks itself out. Now that's the point when the video crashed, not the video, the game crashed, so we resume without, I didn't have my Snorlax and he would have Snorlax and Spirit Tomb fainted. So it's full of verse 5 now, and everyone's back to full health, no stats, no nothing. And his Pokemon he chose to bring out was Earth Ring, and I chose to bring out my Waylord as my extra Pokemon. The Balloon! So I use Power Gem and do some damage, which to hit the Fero though. It uses Shadow Claw on my Phoenix, no, my not Phoenix. Waylord decides to use Constrict, because logic. <laughs> but no, it's Pokemon logic. And... I think at this point I'm eating food and I don't realise I'm meant to do anything, that's why there's a few small portion of time here where I'm not thinking or we're trash talking via Skype, it's one of the two. <laughs> but no, I definitely thought I had the upper hand last game because I did pull off the toxic spikes as well. Um, I'm gonna... But, this is to be expected, it uses Earthquake and that would have been to his advantage if Gravity had hit, so both of these battles have differences because of they're having to rebeat. And I use Whirlwind on that Typhlosion bringing out his Ditto. I use Metronome using Sludge Bomb and do some considerable damage to the um Fero, which I wasn't surprised, which was quite surprised to see. I think I use what Stealth Rocks there, or Spikes or something, which is quite funny. Another entry hazard from my Waylord. And uses Rock Climb, which luckily misses. Moltres uses Dizzy Punch, doing a whole lot of damage to that Ditto. I'm like, what the fudge? Well, Ditto does have low defense, and I pull off a um Spore on the Ursa Ring, and then. Balloon uses like a reflect or something silly. Um, mascot Phoenix. Balloon. Uh, I think this is a great idea. Shift gear, which I was actually very, very scared about because that increases speed and attack. Um, I pull off Avalanche, hoping to hit the Fury, but I instead knock out the um, 
Ditto, and I use Surf with my Vanalux, which does considerable damage to Phoenix because of the stab. Not really stab, super effective bonus, that's the one. So Phoenix is running low. I don't want it to die because, you know, Moltres is my soulmate and so is Vanalux. <laughs> but use a Shadow Sneak on my mascot, then use a Discharge, hitting Moltres and Balloon and Firo, knocking Moltres and Firo out, but Balloon is a very defensive Pokemon that survives it. Mascot then uses Giga Impact, because, and then Balloon decides to pick the Typhlosion. So I bring out Lady Lizard, because they're all girls in my Pokemon. So it's Lady Lizard the Dragonite. Um, Vanalux is unable to do anything this turn because it's charging from its Giga Impact. Lady Lizard uses Wrap. Um, and then I use Psy Shock on my Balloon, which does a lot. Because obviously Waylord is very high special attacking, I believe. Um, <laughs> then we have an Icicle Spear, which, as you know, is four times effective against Dragonite, but luckily only hits three times. I then able to pull off a Stabbed Twister, and then my mascot, which is Healing Wish, which is hilarious, because I could then bring out something else which had any damage done, but obviously I had nothing, so Vanalux killed itself. And we defeated Bonyids. So I'll catch you guys next time.